This lesson is about the least common multiple of two numbers. The least common multiple, or LCM for short, is just the smallest multiple that two numbers have in common or that they share. For example, if we look at the numbers 3 and 4, if we list their multiples, 3 has multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And it has others, but we'll just list the first five for now. First five multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So we want to find the smallest number that's on both lists. Well, 3, 6, 9, 12. Oh, there's a 12 down here. That's the first number that they have in common. 4, 8, 3, 6, and 9 are all different. Okay, so 12 would be the LCM, or least common multiple, for 3 and 4. What if we wanted to find the least common multiple of 4 and 5? Well, we can go ahead and list the multiples of 5. First 5 multiples are 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So what's the smallest multiple that's on both the lists for 4 and for 5? 20 is. Okay? So all these numbers are different from these numbers, but 20 they both share. Okay, so that's the smallest multiple they have in common. You notice that 20 is also the product of 4 and 5. Just like 12, the least common multiple for 3 and 4, 12 was the product of 3 and 4. So the least common multiple in some cases might be the product of the two numbers. In some cases, the least common multiple might not be the product of two numbers. It might be even smaller than their product. For example, if we look at the numbers 6 and 8. 6 and 8. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. So what's the smallest number on each list? That's on both lists. Well, 24 is. So 24 would be the least common multiple of 6 and 8. Well, the product of 6 and 8 is 48. So 24 is actually smaller than the product of 6 and 8, even though it's their least common multiple. So in some cases, the least common multiple will be the product of two numbers, and in some cases, it'll be smaller than their product.